Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, we're going to keep this short and sweet. Yesterday was one of these opportunistic days. You had to, you had to be there, right? You know, we're not right at the open. It chopped around the 13 area for, you know, five or 10 minutes. But then once it got going, uh, that was it. Was really a one move day. So we were long off of that. We were long. Uh, 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 we were long uh, the, the 11, 12, 13 area. We rode that up uh, into 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then they basically spent the next four hours, five hours, doing a whole lot of not much. They ran it up to 45, 42, 25 uh, into the Europe Open. And then Europe went ahead and did a nice, nice little 2 a.m. Um, pullback, which is, you know, you know it's, it's like, where, where, where's that move at 2 p.m.? You know, that's, how, that's what I always say. But this is what the S&P loves to do. It loves to pull back in the middle of the night. The question is in about 20 minutes, about 10 after nine Eastern time, when they turn the lights on, you know, do, does everybody scatter and they, and, they, and they take it back up? So let's look at the hourly chart. So we, we talked about the very tight band yesterday into the open. They ran it up and then you can see they shelved it yesterday. They pulled it back a little bit into the close, but it was four hours of, of literally nothing. A um, little bit of a pullback um, into 25 and up to 42. And we're below the hourly mid band now. So hourly mid bands up at 30. Um, uh, proprietary moving average is at 28. VWAP's at 29. Uh, five minute mid is about 22. And that coincides with the daily pivot. Uh, we'll see where we are. It's, it's traded as low as 45.16. I'm very curious to see what 26 to 30 does on a retest from down below. Does it hold? Is it going to roll over? What are we going to do? Um, that's that's the key area for me is 30. If they make a lower low, then it starts to open up where they took it from yesterday morning, which was right around the 10 half, we call it 08 half to 10 half area. There's some support down there. Below that, you got the roundy at 4,500. What do the bulls want to do? Well, they want to hold it here. They want to get back above 30 and try to push back towards those highs. Um, what I what what I said yesterday and I meant it is that you know as long as we're above this nine day, then long term intermediate term, the bears are just noise. There are going to be pullbacks. Those pullbacks are going to get bought. If it starts converting stuff like the nine day, like the twenty day, well then we can talk. But the last four or five times we've done that, it hasn't panned out. So there's your hourly chart. Weekly pivots down to 44.8367. You can see the nine day at 44.81. That'd be a heck of a move. Be a heck of a move. I wouldn't mind being short that move, but it's not up to me and it's not up to you. It's up to the bears and it's up to the bulls, whether they feel like you know participating today. All right, five minute chart. You can see they ran it up 2 a.m., shelved it a little bit, 40 to 41.42, and then they took it down and accelerated after six o'clock in the morning. You can see they're trying to bounce it, but this is this 20, this is this 26 to 30 area that I'm speaking of. Want to be long above, want to be short below, and I'd love a test after 930 to find, uh, to find a decent entry. All right, that's all I got. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care. Trade them well, join the Facebook group, join the room, come trade this stuff with us. And I, I will, we only had got one piece of content out yesterday. I apologize for that. We will get a midday report out today and we will get an evening report out tonight. Yesterday was a little nuts. All right, take care. I'll talk to you then.